Good afternoon, my friends. Thought it was time for a bit of an update on week 13 of Living on the Rock, which we know as the Isle of Man. Kind of pretty, right uh, in the town of Castletown right here. It should rain, which doesn't, <laughs> doesn't sound like a big deal, but it hasn't rained here for a long time, so I'm very grateful. Anyway, the reason I stopped here, just to give you a bit of an update, is I'll give you a, a look. Just there, flat one, number five, the promenade Castletown. It's where Debbie and I used to live in 1992. Um, some of you know, some of you don't. We have our own businesses uh, here on the island for about four years. And the um, first one we bought was called Ebony. It was a ladies' clothes store that I bought off a friend as a going concern. Debbie left corporate finance and um, we ran that together. And then about a year later, we opened up a bespoke store on a high street called Chapter Two, which we custom built and designed. It was a unisex high fashion store. and. Um, yeah, high fashion. Those people in retail these days know what that feels like. Not a good idea to build a business on disposable income. Anyway, interest rates at 17% kind of nailed us. So we had to start over and um, sold a house and a car and just, just get back on our feet, funny enough, and started to rent. And right there was where we rented. It's so great times, literally living by the ocean. I mean, it's right, it's right here, as you can hear. And, um, this is where Debbie fell pregnant with Gemma and um, had many adventures uh, in Castletown and love coming back here. And uh, that's what life is like on our sort of permanent workation. Um, we go out each morning, we walk, do some stuff, uh, get back in the afternoon, catch up on everything and then work all evening with uh, BC time. So that's how we do it. And um, 13 weeks in, Debbie's dad is doing so well. Um, he still has cancer, it's still growing. But the sepsis is all gone and he's rallying fantastically. Never underestimate the power of human resolve, hey? And that's the other thing that sort of got me about living here was, um, I'll wait for this car to go by, but right behind me, like right there, it's called Hango Hill. It was the official execution site of the Isle of Man in the 1600s or so. And um, I have a relative who was killed there, murdered there executed that. William Christian, or Ilium Doan, as the Manx people would know, it was our Manx martyr, kind of like the William Wallace of the Isle of Man. And uh, the Isle of Man was under British tyranny, I guess, as they would have called it then, through Oliver Cromwell, and uh, Stanley was the Lord of Man, and um, William Christian put together a gang of 800 militia, and they took back the Isle of Man, apart from Peel Castle and Castle Russian, as I read, and um, tried their best to get the Isle of Man back for the Manx, but the Navy came and they knew they wouldn't win, so they kind of gave up. And anyway, a few different stories of what happened, but upshot was somebody who was very patriotic, very passionate about his island, um, was executed for it. Uh, lots of stories, as I say, but um, I get it. I am so passionate about small business owners and I am so passionate about small business owners on the Isle of Man. I mean, goodness just coming out of lockdown again and everybody's trying to get back to some kind of normal and they are very fast actually masks gone social distance is gone to a degree we still do it um, but man I, I, I just look at the websites and the marketing and so many businesses here I could just jump in and work 24 hours a day and help a whole ton of people maybe I will but today is not that day today is balancing family you know? but we came here to look after Debbie's mom and dad and I'm also helping Debbie transition through that and our girls and that's enough we have a big industry group that we work with who want us to do so much more work with them and we're, we, we are doing some I could do a lot more but today is not that day I'm grateful that we're super busy and I could hire a bunch more people and be much busier but today is not that day <laughs> I've probably said that three times, but I still remember this flat and I do remember picking up the pieces and starting all over and um, we only had one car between us and we just had to start over and a lot of businesses feel like they're starting over right now and I get that and man do I want to help. So that's where we're at. Fantastic team working back in Canada and uh, we have people in Europe, we have people in Australasia that work for us and um, we have like a, a global resource. I like to think that we're locally owned and globally resourced. And um, 
get the chance to help a whole bunch of people. I have nine people I'm gonna work with tonight in our VIP. Uh, we're looking at Empower, which is the sixth E of our social media strategy. It's the fourth E. It's the fifth E. <laughs> I have to think that we added an extra. It's all good. Empathy is what we added. And, um, but empowering your audience to believe in you, knowing that if they hire you, they could get to a place that they couldn't get to by themselves. That's huge. So I've got to work on that this afternoon. And, um, yeah. It'll be fun to give you a little update. Cloudy skies. But yeah, literally flat ocean. Couldn't have been better, hey? Good old Irish Sea and a huge bit of history in our past just up there. So hope you're having a great day and chat to you again soon. Bye for now.